Hi, and welcome back to my channel. The problem this week is to find the area of this blue square that you can see is touching the bottom right of this semicircle, the point F, and is also touching the top right of a square inside our semicircle, which is touching uh, two of the points on the circumference or the arc of that semicircle. Can you find the blue area? Can you find the area of the blue square? If you want to solve this problem yourself, pause the video now because I'm going to show you my solution in three, two, one. Okay. So the first thing that I want to do and to show you really is, well, there's obviously right angles in the four corners of the square, but I want to show you that this square um, is symmetrical about this semicircle if we were to put a line vertically from the center of the semicircle point H. So we put that line in. Now we know because that is a um, perpendicular line to the base of that semicircle, there must be a right angle there. Now because there are, if you look at the left or the right hand side of that red line in that square, there are going to be three right angles, which means the fourth angle must be a right angle. Why that is important? Because if we've got a radius um, that meets a chord, so BC is a chord, meets a chord at right angles, that must bisect the chord. And what that means is that the length I to H is the same as the length H to G. And that's going to be important for later on. And I wanted to, to just show you that rather than assuming that anybody uh, might know that. And we might be able to just assume that from the setup of the problem. From there, I've drawn a radius from H to C. Now, that radius, if we look at the semicircle, that has got a diameter of 10, so that radius from H to C must have a length of 5. Now, I'm going to call the height, or the width, whatever you want to call it, of the inside square, square BCGI, uh, I'm going to call that length X. Okay. Now, what that means is, because we know I to H is equal to H to G, uh, that h to g is half of the length of the square, so that must have a length of a half x. We've then got a right angled triangle, so what we're going to do next is use Pythagoras. So a half x squared plus x squared is equal to the hypotenuse, 5 squared. That gives us quarter x squared plus x squared is equal to 25. And collecting our like terms, we get 5 over 4, x squared is equal to 25. So if we times the both sides by 4, we get 5x squared is 100, divide by 5 is 20. Okay, or you could divide straight away there by 5 over 4. Square rooting both sides, we get x is 2 square root 5, and we can put that on our diagram as the length from c to g. Now the length h to g is a half of x, so that will be root 5. Okay, now the next thing we can do is work out the length g to f. We know the radius has a length of 5, so g to f must have a length of 5 minus root 5. Okay, because we're taking away the length h g, which is root 5. We've got a right angled triangle there again. So I'm going to call the lengths or the side lengths of the blue square y, but you probably already know what we're going to do. We're going to use Pythagoras one more time. 2 root 5 all squared plus 5 minus root 5 all squared is equal to y squared. Well, actually, y squared is the area of the blue square, C, D, E, F. So we're not going to need to do anything else once we've worked out y squared. That is our answer. 2 root 5 squared is 20. And then we've got 5 minus root 5, we've got two of those brackets times together. 5 times 5 from the brackets gives us 25. And then we've got minus root 5 times 5, which is minus 5 root 5. We're going to have two of them. So in total, minus 10 root 5. And then minus root 5 times minus root 5 gives plus 5. So we get this. And collecting all our like terms together there, uh, we are going to get an answer of... 50 minus 10 root 5. But don't forget to include the units, centimetres squared. 
I hope you enjoyed that problem and if you did it yourself, I hope that you were able to get the same solution uh, or the same answer. If you had a different solution or you got the same solution, let me know down in the comments below. Uh, and if you enjoyed the video, please drop a like on the video and consider subscribing if you're not already subscribed because I release a new problem solving video every Monday at 5pm. Thank you so much for watching, have a great week and I will see you next time for another video. Till then, bye bye. Bye bye.